Good morning from day nine. <laughs> We're just packing up here. Uh, the ladies are getting picked up first and dropped off at the trailhead, and then the guys are going to follow shortly after. Oops, let's see. One day I'll figure out how to work my camera. There we go. Here's everybody packing up all their stuff. We had a symphony of snores last night, but we made it through the night. Fitz has all his meds. <laughs> I sometimes did not hear anything. Are you kidding? <laughs> I slept like a baby. I heard someone talking. I'm pretty sure Quads talks in his sleep. You had a full on conversation. I, I talk in my sleep. Okay, one of you was definitely having a conversation last night. Somehow I didn't talk or snore. I do sometimes. I swear it was your voice. You snore with my So, anyways, we'll be back on the trail very shortly. For three, two and a half days. Heading back no, I to haven't the trail. Set, I haven't set it up yet. I mean, I set it up in the hotel room. But... So, tonight will be her first night setting it up on trail. Back on trail. We just gotta walk. This is a connecting trail to hike to get back to the PCT trail. So this is where we got off yesterday. And now we're taking it to get back so we don't miss any miles. We had thought about getting a hitch just into Scissors Crossing, but it took 15 miles off the trail and we don't want to skip any. So we got dropped back off right where we got picked up yesterday. And the boys are probably 45 minutes behind us because we couldn't all fit. So we're gonna get a head start and we'll catch up with them probably around lunchtime. Big milestone, just hit 100 kilometers on the trail. So excited, I'm so proud of myself. That's actually the longest I've ever backpacked. 100 kilometers. The trail is surrounded by this California lilac today. It makes it smell amazing. I don't know. I don't know people from California call it California lilac, but that's what we call it from Canada. <laughs> it smells so good. So we're back on the official PCT now. We just ran into the family that's hiking, the mom and dad with the three toddlers. They're averaging about eight miles a day, which is amazing. Um, we're gonna be wet camping tonight, so we're only carrying a couple liters of water each. And I'm fighting some kind of cold or allergies or something. Um, I took an allergy pill this morning and some Dayquil, so hopefully that clears it up. But I think it's also just, it's so windy and dry and dusty. I think it's just messing with everything because I'm not the only one. There's quite a few people here that, that we've met along the way that are having the same issues as me. So, oh well, it is what it is, right? So the guys haven't caught up to us yet. Um, I imagine we'll probably see them within the hour because they're pretty fast. I don't know if you can see this. There's, there's fighter jets going over. It's really cool. Maybe they'll come around again. So I'm freaking out. I saw a tiny little baby rattler, but it went away. And then we walked a few more feet down the trail and there was a giant rattlesnake across the trail and Poppin screamed and then it finally went off the trail and then we started like two feet in front of it there was another one on the other side of the trail I didn't see it but I could only hear it and she talked me through it and got me through but I thought I was gonna throw up I I don't know if I can do this <laughs> we made it to camp early this afternoon it's 1 30 yeah we did six miles 10k Seven miles. Seven miles. Oh, um, apparently Vince and Captain are way behind us. They came across a guy or something happened and they found a guy with a broken ankle. So they're sitting with him until emergency services come. So I don't have a tent at the moment, but I'm fairly confident he will be here this evening. So <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. It's hot. For lunch today, I have pulled pork in a pouch. <laughs> <laughs> And Fritos. Hikers love their Fritos on this trail. <laughs> Living the life out here. <laughs> so there's two helicopters circling right now. Vince and Doug are about two miles back from where we stopped from, for camp with a hiker that fell and broke his ankle. So they hit the SOS button on the Garmin, but I don't think the helicopter can quite find them or find where to land because it's pretty... Oh, there's a bush in the way now. It's pretty rugged trail. 
Like they're gonna have to land and hike in. Who knows, they might land here. There he is again. They're just circling and circling the mountain trying to find where they are, I think. Hey, what's for dinner? What's for dinner, Quads? Cold soaked ramen bomb for my birthday. Night. Your birthday's tomorrow. Stop trying yeah, to stretch I'm gonna have it out. Another one tomorrow. <laughs> What's for dinner? Yeah, another birthday I'm tomorrow? Or? Another rice ramen with bun. seasonings and cheese. And All I'm right. a chicken packet. Awesome. What's for dinner? I'm having a wild Zora paleo meal, which tastes awful. Okay. <laughs> so I just added some chili. We'll see. Captain, what's for dinner? Mountain House. Uh, ma uh, <laughs> Meat chili, mac? Ch mac chili mac with beef, but I put too much water in it, and now it's kind of like some kind of weird <laughs> soup. <laughs> it's goulash. What do you have? I had Mr. Noodles with garlic and onions and zucchini and pulled pork. Awesome, and I'm having plain old ramen because <laughs> I'm too lazy to make anything else. So I want to get some of those meals. Back in my tent, six o'clock and everyone's getting ready for bed. <laughs> it just seems like it's been a long, hot day. Um, my gratitude for the day is making it through my first rattlesnake encounter and not crying. I got close, but I didn't do it. And that's it. Tomorrow I think we're heading to Scissors Crossing.